the, this is the uh, ecology lab from the Environment Agency from the Anglian region, northern area. Um, well, basically what we're doing here, we go out, the samples are collected in the field with, with nets, we collect all sorts of environmental information that goes with them. Samples are brought back to the laboratory, they're washed, they're sieved, um, and then put into trays, usually takes maybe six trayfuls to sort a sample, and then we extract everything from the, big, the trays put them in separate petri dishes and then the next stage is to identify them with the microscopes and the keys um, to actually work out what's there. That information is used to write reports and to guide um, other staff at the agency into taking remedial actions where they need to or in some cases if everything's okay, it, we just report it as okay. A whole range of invertebrates all living in different types of river um, but every single one gives us information about the environment that it lives in. These are native um, water shrimps. Um, they need fairly good water quality, these. Um, so if you find them, uh, and certainly if you find them in some numbers, it usually means that, that things are okay. Um, this is a, a water hog louse. It looks like a wood louse, but it lives underwater. Um, now this one is one that's far more tolerant of pollution, in fact, where you get serious pollution, the numbers build up um, significantly. Uh, this is a, a big mayfly, this is one of the biggest British mayflies, um, it's, it's called ephemera, uh, and it's an indicator of very, very clean conditions. These things cannot live where there's a lack of oxygen or um, any, any, any type of contamination.